previously on The Walking Dead. I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about Cole. Now I'm gonna go look for more wood. Where's the rest of your group? I I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Would someone mind telling me what the fuck is going on here? She was bit by a dog. For all we know, she could be working with Carver. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. Just... just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way! Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you! You could have saved him! How could you just leave him? Sorry about Pete. Whatever. Why'd you leave my uncle? Back at the stream. Pete got bit. What? He got bit. He wasn't going to make it. What do we do now? We're stuck here. We should at least look around. Maybe we can find something to help us get out of here. Knock yourself out. Do you think they'll break through that window? Guess I'll just stand here, talking to myself. It's a still. I know what it is. Fuck you do. Okay, what then? It's for making booze. That rig ain't fit to piss in. What is that stuff? Let me see. I guess.
had to kill my mom. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. Everyone I grew up with, it all happened to them. Now, it's gonna happen to us. We're all so fucked. We'll make it. Bullshit. I mean, what's the point? We'll just march to some new place and somebody else will die. It's never gonna stop. Eventually, it'll be our turn. I can't believe we've been here a day. A day. It's been a day, right? Hey, kid. Have a drink with me. To Peter Joseph Randall. The nicest mean old bastard I ever knew. <laughs> Listen, they're not coming for us. You should go. Run for it. What, what are you gonna do? Stay here. I'm tired. Go find Luke and the rest. They'll take care of you. They're good people. We can make it. We have to try. I don't have to do anything. Come with me. Are you kidding? And leave all this? You can't just sit here and die. Why not? What does it matter? You still have Luke and everyone else. They're family. Nick, I need your help. Please. You're right. Now look, if we get separated, the cabin's only half a mile from here. You can't miss it. You ready? <clears throat> Fuck it. Clementine, are you all right? Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? It's been hours. Where are they? Clem! Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. My God. Where were you? Where were you exactly? Down by the stream. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. 
My husband is still out there! Get the guns! Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you... Can you please watch Sarah? She's upstairs. Just distract her. And don't tell her anything. I'll take care of her. You can trust me. Thank you. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. We'll be back soon. And thank you. Say cheese! I found this under the house. There was all kinds of old stuff. It's so cool. Take one of me. Come on, take one of me. Sure. Get me in a good pose, okay? Okay, I'm ready. What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? They're just... fishing. I know that's not true. Sorry, I, I, I just need to... You want to see what I found? Will you show me how to use it? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? As long as you don't tell your dad. I won't, I promise. First, remember, it's just a thing. What does that mean? Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be heavier. Okay, what do I do? The most important thing is, don't pull the trigger. Squeeze it. Why? I don't know. You just do. Okay. What should I shoot? Don't do that! S -s -s sorry Sorry! Maybe I could practice outside. There's that tree. Hey, Luke's back! That's not Luke. Clem, I think I know him. He can't see me. You have to make him go away. Who is he? Uh, I, I don't remember. No. Clem, I can't breathe. I, I can't breathe. Actually, I'm your neighbor. Neighbor? That's right. My family and I are set up a ways down river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. Pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Yes, I do mind. This is a nice place. Is there anyone else around? 
You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Just me and... and Dad. Yeah? What's his name? Ed. Strong name. I like him already. Where is he? He's out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. They've been gone a long while, and... I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. Spanish guy and his daughter. Quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy. This big. And a pretty little pregnant lady. I saw them. They're dead. You saw who? Where? Down by the river the other day. Walkers got them. I'm sorry. <laughs> the river? You sure about that? Pretty sure. Well, no offense, but I guess that wasn't them. Because the ones I'm looking for are very careful people. If you say so. It's a lot of plates for two people. Looks like a tornado ran through here. Yeah, well, I'm supposed to be doing the dishes. Just passing through or you been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. It's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. I don't care. You know, you're really not very polite for a little girl. And you're not very polite for an adult. This is my house. Fair point. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? What's your point? If people don't trust you, how can you trust them? Well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Don't come back. You have a real good day now. Where is he? 
He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. You were with Nick, right? We gotta go find him. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. Yeah, but I think he was lying. What? I thought he said his name was George. George? Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? How old was he? He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Uh, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. Now, right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Sarah. So I'm just an idiot? I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving now. Alvin, wait! We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Look, we gotta find Nick on our way out of here. You know where he was, right? Yeah. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now, you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. It's just a tough time right now, with the pregnancy and all. It's okay. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. I can handle it. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always giving me shit. And I always thought he didn't know a damn thing. I know you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? There. That's where we were. Nick! Get the door.
Jesus. Hey, man. You got any aspirin? Nick, you asshole. Pete's dead. I know, man, I do. We gotta get moving. Okay, Carver's gang showed up. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Good, let's go. Hey, Clem. Huh. I just wanted to say, thanks for not giving up on me. I'm sorry about Pete. Yeah. Thanks. What happened back there in that cellar? Did he do something stupid? Like you can tell me. Nick saved my life. Really? Yeah. Sort of. I'm worried about that kid. Keep an eye on him for me, would you? You sure you still want to come with us? Look, I know we got off to a rough start. And I can't make any promises it won't get rougher. I have to look for Krista. She was headed north, right? Yeah. So are we. Look, you're gonna have a better chance of finding her with us than on your own. I figure we got about four or five days to reach those mountains. Now, if they're tracking us, we should be able to lose them up there. Five days? It's gonna be okay, Beck. We have to keep moving now. It's our only choice. See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. Beck and I would once. It wasn't pretty. There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? I think so. Good. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... She's what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. It's gonna be fine. Okay, we'll signal you guys in ten minutes. Just watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? If something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Hey, uh, sorry about that. I just... Could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Even the gangs. You know, what do you think they're all after? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. 
Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. It's not my place to talk about someone else's past, you know? Seems like we're already in the middle of it. Tell me about it. <laughs> hmm. Can't shoot him. Too much noise. Let's take him. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. We should be okay. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a shed. <clears throat> nice work, kid. <clears throat> Thanks, Clem. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. You do the talking. What? Why me? So I don't want to get in a fight. You really think he chewed a little girl? Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. I'd shoot me. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. 
I'm just saying. Well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him first. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. What do you want? Saw you coming, and I thought I'd meet you halfway. Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. You're the one holding a gun. Touche. You folks headed north like everyone else? Everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Dick! No! Don't shoot! Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Shut up, Nick. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. I don't know. It happened so fast. But you were right there. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem. You got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. Well, why don't you go look? I'm going to sit with Beck here for a minute. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. I'll be right behind you. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Hey, Clem, you check out that station yet? Not yet. Thanks a lot for backing me up there. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. Who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. 
What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. <sighs> this means... Thank you, Clem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. The man said he had lots of food. There's gotta be something left. <clears throat> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. Man, not that we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever known anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she shot another guy. Damn. What you do? My friend forgave her. Huh. And then she stole our car and left us. Oh. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group. But I've got to put Beck and the baby first. Rebecca can have it. I won't say anything. Thanks, Clementine. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. 
Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. See anything? I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. <laughs> 